Welcome to my channel. My name is Stephen, and in this channel, I'd like to share with you on how I use technology to help me in my daily lives. In this video, we will be doing a quick unboxing and pairing of this Wi-Fi PIR motion sensor. Before this, I have no idea what the PIR stands for. A quick search in Google tells me that it stands for Passive Infrared and according to some articles, it is commonly found in alarms and motion detection systems. This PIR motion sensor, like all my smart home devices, works with the Tuya smart apps or the Smart Life app and is powered by three AAA batteries, have a 5 meter and 120 degrees detection zone. Let's have a look at what is inside. There is the user manual, the sensor, a double sided tape for mounting, a reset pin, and a screw. Looking at the back of the sensor, there is a mounting plate which can be removed by pushing downwards. For mounting, you have the option of using the screw or you can use the double sided tape and stick it to any place of your choosing. To get to the battery compartment, we need to remove this cover and as mentioned, it runs on 3 AAA batteries. Let's get some battery in it. Close the cover. Now it's ready for pairing with either the Smart Life or the Tuya Smart App. If this is the first time you are pairing a smart device with the app, there are a few things you need to know. First, obviously, you will need a smartphone or a tablet running on either Android or iOS. Next, you will need the free app. You can either use the Smart Life app or the Tuya Smart App. Both apps interface is identical, so you can follow along with this video without any issue. You can get the app from either the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. Install the app and sign up for an account. Lastly, and this is important, you will need to connect your phone or tablet to the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi. Most smart home devices will only connect via the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi band and modern Wi-Fi router nowadays are Dovan, which means you can connect your devices using either the 5 GHz or the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi band. You just need to make sure you are connected to the right band for the setup to work. Now, with that out of the way, we can switch on the Wi-Fi Smart PR sensor. Turn it around and you will see a red light blink a couple of times to indicate that it is on. To pair the motion sensor with the app, you will need to wait for a minute or so, at which point you will see the red light blinks continuously. Like so. If after a minute you did not see the blinking red light, you will need to reset the motion sensor. To reset the PIR motion sensor, you will need the reset pin. Insert the pin into the reset button, push and hold for 5 seconds. Release and wait for a while. You should now see the continuous red blinking light. I'll be using the Smart Life app. And as you can see, the app automatically sends the motion sensor. To continue, just tap on Add. You'll be presented with a list of devices that can be added. For me, it's just the motion sensor. Tap on the plus icon and you will be asked to enter the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi credentials. Once done, tap on next. This will start the pairing process where the app will look for the motion sensor, pair it with the app and register it with the cloud services. These are all done automatically. What if the app doesn't sense the motion sensor at the start? Well, you can add the motion sensor manually. Starting from the app home screen, Click on the plus icon and select Add Device. On the left column, select Sensor. On the right column, look for and select Motion Sensor Wi-Fi. After this point, the process is like the automatic detection 
illustrated earlier. Once the pairing is completed, you will be given a notification that the motion sensor has detected motion. I am not sure if this is meant to be an example notification or it just detected me and hence push out a notification. What do you think? Leave me a comment below. Now you have the option of renaming the device by tapping on the pen icon. I will rename mine as motion sensor. Tap on done and done. This will bring you back to the setting page. I think mine is sensing me because it is showing motion detected. Right below, it will give me the status of the sensor, which is working. That is good. And below that, we have three sections. Records will show you the time log of when motion was detected for the past few days. Automation is where you find all the automation that involves this device. For now, mine is empty. Setting is where you set your preferences. At the top, it gives you the current battery level. Next, it states lower battery, which I decipher it to be low battery notification. I suggest you keep this on so that it can remind you when it's time to change the battery. Motion alarm is self-explanatory. You can set it to have a push notification along with an alarm sound when motion is detected. Since it is paired and working properly, you can now mount it in the place of your choosing. Besides being part of the home security system, you can use the motion sensor to trigger other smart home devices. Let me walk you through how to set this up. What I would like to do is that if the motion sensor sense movement, then turn on a light, and in my case, a smart light bulb named Test Bulb 1. At the app homepage, tap on Scene at the bottom of the screen. Make sure Automation is selected. It should be selected by default. Then tap on the plus icon at the top right. From this list, we will want to select when device status change and select motion sensor. Next, I will choose PIR state. Then motion detector. I think here they meant motion detected. Anyway, after this, I would also want to add another condition in the if section. So I tap on the plus icon again and look for when device status changes. The device I want to check is test bulb 1. So I will select it. I want to know if the bulb is switched on. So select on or off and select on. I want this automation to only activate when both conditions are met. Tap here and select when all conditions are met. In the then section, click on the plus icon. We want to run the device. Select test bulb 1 on or off, we want to switch it on and save. We can specify a few more parameters, mode, I want white and save. Brightness, I will set it at 20 which is actually 2% of full brightness. Don't want to blind you guys when we do the test afterwards. Save. Temperature, I will set at 200 which is a warm white while 1000 is cold white and safe. This is all I want for now. Next. But before we save, I will also want to change the automation name. By default, the app tried to give me a name, but it's usually too long. So to change the name, tap on the three dots, then the name, and I will change it to motion detected on light. Note that below the name, you have the option to set the time on when the automation should be active. There are some presets and a custom setting. For now, I just leave it as default, which is all day. Tap on OK and you are back to the automation setting page. One thing to note, the control to your if condition have defaulted back to any condition map. You will need to reset it back to all condition map and tap save. To complete the setting of the automation, you will be asked, automation created, start using now. 
Tab yes, otherwise your automation will not run. Your automation is now set. Let's try it out. As you can see, I have a bulb and a box covering the motion sensor, just to make sure that the sensor does not pick up any unnecessary motion. Let's remove the cover. There's the red light, indicating that it senses my motion. Give it a couple of seconds to connect to the cloud. And there, it's on. You can also use the same technique to switch off the light when no motion is detected. The scene will look like this. In the if section, set motion sensor to look for no motion and the light to be on. Both conditions are met. Then set light to off. If you find this to be useful, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye now.